Well, a group of fierce young Philadelphia women, women will soon leave for the World Lacrosse Tournament. The Icons Lacrosse team is breaking barriers and instilling in these women dedication to the game, the community, and themselves. Eyewitness News anchor Siapa Lewis has this story. You're playing on an international level. Growing up in Radnor, Jasmine Smith was a three sports star, excelling in basketball, but also field hockey and lacrosse. Now, she's providing access to the latter two exclusive and predominantly white sports to girls of color in North Philadelphia. I started Icons with the development of really wanting to make sure that everyone had accessibility and knowledge that these two sports were available to them. And she explained why it was challenging for her as it would be for most anyone. Being the only one is uncomfortable because, you know, there were times where referees wouldn't give me a call and that was just based upon my race. And then there would be times where I would be taunted based upon, you know, someone's inability of understanding that we're all humans on this planet. But through icons, she's alleviated that. Her seventh and eighth grade team and her high school team are traveling south for a major tournament. We're here today because my players are playing in the World Lacrosse Tournament, which is a tournament uh, under the Olympic Association. So teams throughout the whole entire world will be playing down in Townsend, Maryland. For these young women, lacrosse isn't just a sport they're playing. It's not just an athletic endeavor. In so many ways, it's about life, experiences, and exposure. It's a sisterhood and it's a family, and we always have each other's back. So whenever like you're feeling down or something, you can always go to your fellow teammates. The lacrosse team is really more than just playing. Uh, you really feel like you have a home. And wins and losses aside, there's a bigger picture to be gleaned from what these girls are doing and the accomplishing. The these girls are bringing hope back into the city, and that's what it. That's what you got to focus on, the hope, because they are then transcending the next generation, and even for their communities to see if I'm doing it, so can you. In Fairmont Park, Seattle Lewis, CBS3. Eyewitness News. Hope back in the city. Do your thing, ladies. Do your thing.